This is bigger than worldwide. The record company. Trust me. Loves you. I love you. Everyone is gonna love you. You are gonna be massive. TNT, sponsors of pop stars. Last week on Pop Stars, thousands of hopefuls were rejected, but a lucky 163 people have made it to Birmingham for the next round of auditions. Of these, only five will make it into the final band and realize their dreams of becoming a pop star. <laughs> The auditionees have travelled from all corners of the United Kingdom by road, air and rail to make it to Birmingham. Only the best will progress to the final stage of auditions in London. For the Finnish band, the judges are looking for three vital ingredients. We're looking for a complete package. Firstly, they've got to sing. That's, that's absolutely key. If you can't sing, forget it. We want you to have a good look, not necessarily a six-foot model. That's not important either. It's just you have to have um, a look that we think can, can make sense within a unit and then finally have some sort of personality. <laughs> Our judges, Paul Adam, head of A&R at Polydor Records, Nikki Chapman, manager of Billy Piper and former publicist of the Spice Girls, and Nigel Lithgow, head of entertainment and comedy at LWT and United, have just two days to select 30 people who will make it to the next round in London. Over the next two days, the hopefuls will be split into groups. For the first time, they'll be tested on their dancing, while others will have intensive singing training and interviews. All day, every day, the judges will be assessing each group. If at any point someone doesn't make the grade, they'll be sent home. We've got to a stage now where we've got to be ruthless. We can't let anything cloud our minds. Congratulations, everybody, for being here. As you know, we've seen thousands. But the talented ones are here, and we're grateful you are here. Yeah, really. The bad news is we've got to lose around 130 of you. Despite the pressure, the hopefuls are in good spirits. Ready for anything that's thrown at me. It's going to be a hot competition today. Apart from somebody's underpants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to Wales this week with the school. Six o'clock this morning we've got. I am. So my mum's rang up this morning to say I've got diarrhoea. I'm probably the biggest wannabe out of everyone. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting there in the in the bath interviewing myself. It's a few stars here. I've seen a few, we've got a few stars. Yeah, star mm, quality. One it's guy a... walks down, oh, he's, remain he's... nameless at this point. The judges may have their favourites, but Paul isn't daunted by the task ahead of him. We're trying to find a pop group, so today for me, bless them all, they've all got talent, but we have to lose a lot of people today, because it's like I'm really focused on getting, getting a group right now, so for me, not at all hard. All right, let's have... Uh... Singing coach Annie Skates, who's worked with the likes of Madonna and the Spice Girls, has taken half the group to teach them their audition song. Oh, Monday, Monday, how could you leave? It's oh, Monday, Monday, how... Within minutes, everyone's practicing, even in the corridors. Karaoke host Chapman got through the first audition on his singing talent alone. But he's worried about the new challenge in this audition, dance. Yeah, I understand the dance part's important, but I don't think you buy records to hear someone dance. Do you know what I mean? You don't buy a record to hear someone dance. I mean, you watch a video, you see someone in a video maybe, you, you buy a record to listen to the singer. See you, Nigel. See you up there, man. Chapman is relying on personality to curry favour with the judges. See you, Nigel and he jumps at the chance to impress voice coach Annie when he spots her in the lift. Every morning, some in the solitary lives. 
You'll find it in the works of others. Yes, Nigel again. Hey, Nigel. Actually, I quite liked his voice. I mean, to look at, I don't know whether he's the right image for the, uh, for the band, but um, his voice, I thought he was... And he was very brave just to start singing like that in the lift. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Unfortunately for Chapman, his first test is not singing. It's dancing with top choreographer Priscilla Samuel. All going to do is basically give you a little dance routine. Like Priscilla has worked with many stars, including Tina Turner and S Club 7. And it's one, two, three and four. <laughs> Despite his fear of the dance classes, Chapman throws himself in with enthusiasm. Six, seven, eight. Someone else worried about the dancing is Claire. Oh, honey, if I get restless. She partnered Chapman in her first audition in Glasgow and got through on the strength of her voice. Oh, super but despite her success, she wasn't confident. I think they're looking for skinny girls, and I'm not really like that, and I hope that they realise that... I hope they can overcome that and look and see me for what I am. Claire may be worried, but choreographer Priscilla is impressed by the talents of her non-professional class. General Stanner is quite good, actually. I'm surprised. I was thinking, Lisa, some people haven't had no dance training at all in their lives or anything, and they're coming here and boogie. Some have got two left feet, but as long as they don't clash, we're fine. We'll get around it. That's about I don't get, right? So we get to there. Ah, it's clapped. Is it easy, better now? Mm. How are we going to get this in front of the camera? I'm telling you, it's going to be hellish. Give me five minutes, come back to me, I'll be a pro. She's going to be sent home. This is absolutely crazy. If we knew she was underage, we should have spoken to her very early on, before they all got broken up. While the singing and dancing continues, Nigel has received some unwanted news. One of the hopefuls has admitted to being 16 years old, but she's already been sent to the dance group. It's tough on her now. To be in the band, you must be between 18 and 24. She thinks she's got through the net. She must have told us that she was underage and we've accepted it. Now I'm being sent along to get rid of her. Is Susan Robinson here? Susan. Susan. Um, I've just heard. Uh, right, I know I should have told you a bit earlier. It was just, you know, I wasn't sure whether you'd let me audition or not. So... I can't. I can't. I, I, I've got to ask you to leave. I'm terribly sorry. But we asked. We continually asked. You're 18, 18 to 24. I'm ever so sorry. I'm okay, so sorry. Right, so well, thank you anyway. But keep up the good work, and right. maybe next year we'll do it all over right, okay, again. Right. It's a bit disappointing, I mean, but I mean, I expected it, but it's like a really big thing. I really want to do it, but you know, it's just look at the draw, it's not my turn, so. Um, what are you going to do now? Go home. <laughs> so, let's travel back. Unaware of the drama in the dance room, in the singing room, Joseph from Belfast is psyching himself up to give his best performance. There's not a word you can describe for how much I'm going to give. Uh, 100, 200, 300, if there's any... I mean, it's unlimited here. Monday, Monday, sometimes it just turns out that way. I've built myself so much up for this, you know, being so nervous at the start of the first audition, you know, Nigel telling me this, that and the other, to do this, you know, and I've, I've worked so hard, you know, previous to it, you know, to get this far, you know. There's no one in this place. I did 169 or 100, 200 or 2,000 people who went for this audition. No one wants it more than me. The atmosphere in the singing room is about to change. Having already ejected one hopeful, Nigel wants to check that everyone is the right age. We really need to get this going, so... 
Oh, sorry to stop you sorry. immediately you started. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can I just check something with you? I've already had to let one young lady go. We've just seen that she is not 18. Uh, we've been through this lots of times, 18 to 24, it's most important. Is everybody here 18 to 24 uh, or 18 in the next couple of weeks? Yeah? Should I tell you how old I am? <coughs> when are you 18? I'm 30. You're what? 30. <gasps> I understand if I have to go there. I do understand. I took a risk. I did. I'm sorry you do. OK. Thanks very much, anyway. OK. <laughs> It's heartbreaking to send any kid away uh, because of their talent, but to send them away because of their age, it feels even worse, you know. Yeah, all the best. Uh, win some, you lose some. The rules clearly state 18 to 24. We have to abide by those rules. Upset, Lucita has asked to speak to another judge. Nikki. You know, everything you look in the papers is 18 to 24. It's not even 18 to 26 or 18 to 25. It's 18 to 24. Basically, that, where do I fit in that place? Look at Tom you Jones. Know? Look at John McDonald. Well, all these people are already established. You know, and You've a lot of people far. will see me you know, and say, oh, Lou, why did you drag yourself through that? You know, I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> oh. Lisa had a go. I know. But and if you hadn't come, my mum wanted it so much for me. <laughs> For do you so want it? Years. But do you well, want it? Well, I can't keep going on like this, keep getting doors shut in my face. I can't carry on like that. This is the hard side of the no. industry. This is no. the hardest side. It's not my talent, it's my age. So I can't do nothing about my no. age. So then that's it. As far as I'm concerned, that's it. Coming up, it's judgment day for Claire, Joseph and Chapman. That was horrible. That was horrible. Go back, join me. And the judges disagree. I don't want to turn anybody away at the moment that we, you haven't even seen, haven't seen, seen or before. done. I didn't like him. Not being on group. It's rock and roll, boys. Get used to it. The judges will soon be assessing Claire and Chapman in the dance studio. The other hopefuls are busy learning their routines. Peter caught the judges' attention at his first audition in Birmingham. Upside, inside out, she's living the vida loca. She's living the vida loca. She's living the vida loca. Do we carry on? No, that's fine. <laughs> Peter's finding this routine tough, and with only half an hour until the judges arrive, nerves are affecting everyone. One, two. Ah! Well, I'm so nervous, and I really, really want it, and I think it would be really disappointing if I don't get it. I need a shower. I'm absolutely stinking. At the start, I was like, oh, no, I'm not getting this. But uh, I'm beginning to learn it ever, ever, slowly, ever so slowly but surely. In the meantime, the judges are interviewing auditionees to try and get to know them better. Why do you want to be in the band and what strengths do you think you'll bring to the band? Just me, I've got a great talent. I'm very talented. My stage presence is excellent. You know, I, I'm, I'm brilliant with people. I'm brilliant working with other people, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't know why the public, the public love me at the moment or what I do. What I do, I am good at what I do. And when I go out there, the public love me and the public enjoy what I give to them. You what know, are you doing at the moment? I'm just club singing. Okay, no music. Good. Right. All right. I'm happy. Yes, yeah, so I'm yeah. Yeah. Great, OK, Danny. great. Thank Thanks, you very Danny. much, right. Danny. Thanks, Danny. Are you going to go back and join the...? Yes. Yeah, good. Thank you. Bye. Did you not like him? We've got a strong personality to be. He was just too, he just too in my face. I'm going to calm down. But they're going to be like that. 
Wouldn't you be the same? What are you going to do? And you can have we're not bank them. managers. They're, we're looking at them for performance, so they're coming in and they're giving you plenty. And, also, and then it's very difficult that you then turn around and say it's too in your face, because they're going to be in your face. That's what it's about here. Didn't, didn't fancy him. Didn't fancy him. Maybe it's a tasting. We'll see. Let's do a few more. Let's see. I didn't, didn't fancy him. But I don't want to turn anybody away at the moment that we, you haven't even seen, haven't seen seen or that. dance or anything. Mm. And you're turning him down because you said he was in your face. And, I don't know what you expect from them this morning. I didn't like him. Didn't like him. Not to be in my group. It's 12 o'clock. After their disagreement, the judges decide to abandon interviews and focus on performance. It's time for Claire, Chapman and Peter to prove they can move. First up is Claire's group. She's giving it plenty. Look at her, lighting the room up. Big smile. I'm impressed with her because look what she's got on, and you just think, go for it, girl. Proud of who she is. Five now. She's got great voice, hasn't she? She rocked the room. <laughs> Terrific personality. So unfair, that's my problem. Fabulous, thank you. All stay. Excellent. I can't believe I've been asked to stay, I really can. It's still not too late to get a plane home, I suppose, is it not? With Claire through, it's Chapman's chance to find out if practice makes perfect. Yeah. One time only, people, put your heart and soul into it. Let's go. And boy on the left looks like a gorilla dancing. See, one of the most important things for us that they can cut it live. Right, OK. But obviously, they've got to be able to move to sell themselves yeah. the track. People stop and stare, cos it's looking fair. It's one of the worst movers we've had here. Chapman has done his best. Now he must wait and see. That was horrible. That was horrible. Finally, it's Peter's turn. But Nigel's not impressed. Uh, listen, I think you've got to be really tough in this. It's the guy at the back. Back to the left. Right left. For me, there wasn't any of the guys, I'm sorry. Gave my best and I've enjoyed myself, so if they say goodbye, then I am the weakest link. G7. N10. It's decision time, and Nigel calls some auditionees into the middle of the room. L107. They don't know if they are staying or going. M153. Peter is anxious as his number's been M46. called. S96. M for mother 205. Okay, go and grab some lunch. You're going to be staying with us. Bring on the next round. I'm knackered. Jeez. Chapman's out and won't even get the chance to sing. Listen up, everybody else. Thank you very much. Bye bye. You're always going to feel a wee bit sad about not getting through, but there's always a the next time. I think if you just you focus on the future, I think eventually I'll get there. So, <laughs> that's in the last you feel the Chapman. I will be back. be extremely focused and extremely ruthless. If we come across someone that can't sing, we just have to say no. We haven't got the time to, to, to train them once we, we, once we eventually find a group. Having lost half the dance group, the judges will soon be on their way to the singing room. Now it's Joseph's chance to prove himself. 
it'd break my heart not to get this now. I'd, I'd be honest with you. I mean, I'm here for myself and as well for my family back home because I don't want them all to be really proud of me, you know? So, hopefully, you know, I have to go back in here now. So, thanks. The judges have arrived and Joseph's group is first to sing. Can you stand in the same? Can you stand in the order? Oh, thanks. BF1. BF1, stay. That's all I'm hoping. That's all I want. BF1, stay. Nothing else. I was happy with him. Were you happy with him? Lead vocal? Yeah, it's OK. To take a fall would kill me. I mean, hopefully I'm not the person who takes that fall, you know? Because I can be so good at this band. I can make this band to be a bigger and better thing. Do you want to let BF1 go? Because I did, but Nigel doesn't, so... No. Well, I'm not going to fight for any one of these groups, so... Next band, please. Joseph has got competition, as Noel from Cardiff has caught Nigel's eye. Noel really has got a good look, and more importantly, it's a great voice as well. After hearing everyone sing, the judges separate the room into two groups. And I have um, over here, against the firing line, the wall, uh, C2, please. One group is staying for lunch, the other will travel straight home. Uh, S55. S27. G97, N64, BF6. OK, go and grab some lunch. You're staying with us. Noel has Thank got through else. to the next stage. So Joseph hasn't. Go back to Belfast. It just wasn't for me. Just gotta understand things, you know. I can't understand it. I really, really can't understand it. Are you going up or down? As soon as possible, the news, good or bad, is phoned home. Hello, Mummy. No, sir. No. Um, I'm, um, I'm staying. <laughs> me up like you know why I give everything 110 percent everything I give to it is she falling on the floor she's on the floor is she she's on the floor <laughs> why I'm not joking I, I, I'm telling you the truth right see when I was getting um, you know when they're doing a the thing the ones that weren't even doing any good at all didn't even look right didn't even do anything right at all them is the ones I got through so what type of justice is it Next, a new song brings new problems. It's a test. I mean, they said to us before, we're going to be doing things you don't like, but we want to see if you've got an actual problem with that. Yeah. And it's party time for the survivors of a gruelling first day. You strip off yeah. first, then. Come on, show us what you've got. <laughs> Here we go, into the roll. Five, six, seven, roll. Bad. What do you reckon, let's make a CD cover? With 60 wannabe pop stars already rejected, half the group still need to be judged. They will be tested on the complex five-part harmony, Happy Together. Myself and, and Nikki and Nigel have always spoken about making it real, not making it a, a, a pop band that's too young. We want it to appeal to, to a wide demographic and we want, we want the band to sing and have attitude. And, you know, as we whistle the people down, I feel more and more positive we're going to get there.
One of the strongest singers in his first audition was Darius, a student from Glasgow. He's helping some of the others with their harmonies. You're a little bit flat there. It's just weird. This is a whole competition and it's starting to get a bit tense, isn't it? The men are finding the task particularly difficult, as many of them have been asked to sing out of their natural range. No, 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 see, don't, the dumb has got to ease out, yeah? I don't know how Paul and Nigel and uh, Nikki are going to assess, for instance, the bass I'm a bass. I don't know how they're going to assess us when I sing better in my upper range than I do in my lower range. You've got to go back to the dum-dum. You've got to go back to the dum-dum. Then you come, you don't you go, go to the baba. You do once to the baba, you come do, do. twice to the dum-dum. Dum-dum and the baba. Right. Fast food chef Taz is having problems with the bass line. So they've given me baritone. Um, so I really wanted tenor, but it's a test. I mean, they said to us before, we're going to be doing things you don't like, but we want to see whether you've got an actual problem with it, whether you've got a problem with doing it. In a few moments' time, Taz and Darius will be put into separate groups to sing their bass lines in the five-part harmony. Time's up. The judges are here. Taz's group is the first to perform. Stage, he's not as confident as he appeared. With the bottom notes, you can't push them out, you just got to let them happen. But like, I'm nervous, man. Like, I can't help it, and I want everyone to make sure they can hear me because about time I can get it, but it's not loud enough. Do you know what I mean? What was Taz like at Mr. Cool? It was tuneful enough and everything. I don't, you know, I mean, there are better bass voices, so honestly, I'd lose. Darius is next to perform for the judges. Excuse me, and he's got a little business to take care of, if you know what I mean. All right. He's the only one who brings them in, he brings them off. He's, he feels tuneful when he does the bass line. It just feels tuneful. He's a good bit. The best thing we can do now, yeah. spread the positivity and hope they absorb it. Right? Come on, everybody, spread yeah. the positivity. S66. C89. It's the end of the day. There's 103 hopefuls remaining. Only 60 will be coming back tomorrow. Once again, the room is split into two groups. Nobody knows who's in and who's out. Uh, we're going to thank you very much. We're not going to ask you to stay with us today. Does that mean you're through? Does that mean you're through or what? He said, thank you very much, bye-bye. Does this mean we're through or what? He said, ladies, would like you to stay with us. Did he? After half the room has left, Nigel clears up any confusion. You are the 60 we're keeping. Congratulations. Well done. Having delivered the good news, Nigel has a word of warning for the hopefuls. Tomorrow is going to be just as tough as today, if not harder, because you are our favourite 60, and we've got to get you down again to 30. First of all, well done to everybody. Um, look around you, because the band is in this room. And that's quite serious now. Tomorrow, you guys have really, really got to start concentrating. What I need to see is performance. So please, 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 no sex, drugs and rock and roll tonight. <laughs> After an exhausting day, it's back to the hotel to relax. Spirits are high. For some, resting before tomorrow isn't top priority. Single room, so no chance of playing. That's good, because I, I like to sleep naked. Are we on our way? I'm in the same room tonight. I'm going to get busy. Mother, you're a stress. While others just want a good meal and an early night. I'm going to go for a walk. 
put a bath and got my bed. <laughs> If I have one pint, I will just peel it Darius has also decided to rest before the big day. I'm just celebrating this one. Got through the next day. I'll be alright for tomorrow, don't panic about that. I had a bit of energy to go out maybe and have a few drinks, but dancing is not the wise thing to do. Uh, the, the guys and the girls are great down there. We've got plenty of time for that. Um, so I'm going to go to bed, rest up, give it all I got tomorrow. Back downstairs, Kim's boyfriend has called. He says he has to trust me 110% of the way. Because there's boys around. No, I'm going to bed in five minutes anyway. No? <laughs> I did say that an hour ago, didn't I? Peter just can't stop performing. Uncle Fred, it's Zoe. She's got an uncle baby. I'm not even Maxine, Uncle Fred, dad person. Hey, our Ashley. I'll tell you, leave her alone. I'll tell you, leave her alone. He's going to stay up with me. Everyone else is going to bed in a minute. Sweet dreams. Good night. Sleep well. See you in the morning. Bye. It's 11.45, and ignoring Nigel's warning, Mark, Suzanne, Kim and Emma decide to head off for some real rock star behaviour. and all the commotion has alerted hotel security. Everyone's told to return to their rooms. We're in big trouble. So all these hooligans came knocking on the door. Yeah. And, uh, and it was these people. <laughs> these strange gentlemen. <laughs> Message from Kim's boyfriend. Oh. Good night, sexy. <laughs> That's all. Oh. It is really, I swear. Stupid idiot. <laughs> For well, that's just because he loves me. Oh, oh. An idiot. It's not at all. He wouldn't cheat on me. What's he want beef burgers for when he's got steak at home? <laughs> <laughs> Day two in Birmingham, and make or break for the final 60 auditionees. At the hotel, the late night has had a bad effect on Kim. Not good this morning. My throat is totally gone. I can't believe it. I'm just absolutely oh. gutted. I had the worst night's sleep of my life. Just totally keep waking up, waking up, waking up. Oh, I'm shattered. <laughs> Having had six hours sleep, Taz is ready for the day ahead. It's going to be an interesting day. It's going to be good to see which one survive. The thing is, I want to survive, but see, at this stage, we're all getting closer and closer to our friends that are here, which only makes it harder. People are asking, going, oh, help me with this, I can't do this. But in your head, you're thinking, yeah, I help you, you're my mate, but really, I don't want you to help because I don't want you as my competition. Darius is feeling the benefits of his early night as they travel to the venue. But now, chase my dreams, I'm in a free bar. As the hopefuls arrive, the judges are focused on the day ahead. The fact of the matter today is, no matter how great we think this bunch are, 50% of them are going to go home. That's the fact of life. Today brings a fresh challenge for the 60 remaining auditionees. To be one of the 30 to reach the next stage in London, they must learn a five-part harmony and combine it with choreographed dance steps. In only five hours' time, they must perform the full routine in a five-piece band in front of the judges. To her relief, Claire is enjoying the new routine. I'm glad I'm not the one today who's standing going, ah, I can't do this! In three hours, I was yesterday. She's not alone. Taz has picked it up fast. Darius has found the groove. And even Peter has learnt the new steps. But there's one person who's caught the judge's eye again. No. He's got a great personality. Mixes. You could put him with a group of people and you know he just work whatever group. Easier than yesterday's one. Yeah, because it's a bit slower and a bit more chilled out. In fact, everyone's finding the second day's routine easier. 
except for Kim. I'm knackered. I'm absolutely knackered. Oh, yeah, she's getting a massage. Why am I not getting one of them? I think that's what he does for a living, you know. It's Raoul, the porn star. I think that's what it is. Looks like him, doesn't he? Coming up, the final test combining dancing and singing proves too tough for some. Sorry. Come on, the rest of you sing. Come on. And will Claire, Darius, Kim and Peter realise their dream and make it to the final stage in London? This is a killer now. This is the worst it's been because there have never been people we've known. And there's just been a sea of faces and talent that you can say yes to or no to. Sorry, lads. I've blown out the naked CD cover. Nah, no, man, there's too much hissing that. What's wrong with these people today? Nah, no, you're doing well, you're doing well, man. It's the afternoon of the second day of auditions, and it's the final test for the 60 remaining hopefuls. After the success of the dance classes, the group are finding the harmony of Never Ever far more difficult to learn. Again, Taz and Darius have to sing bass. Now, that will feel very low for some of you, OK? We go, right to the we go from there, yes. and then it goes to there. Yes. I've been finding no-one's happy with you about it. Seriously, not one person I know is happy about it, even in their world. Hey, Taz, man, chill. Nah, Seriously, man, chill. Forget it. As a group, they decide to speak to Michael Dorr, the voice coach. I actually sing tenor and alto. And well, right now I'm singing bass, and I mean, it's, it is hard. Yeah, I mean, the only, the only thing that I would say is that sometimes in one's life, I mean, you know, even if you get into this group at the end of it, there's going to there's gonna come a time when it's going to be very useful for you to be adaptable, yeah. OK? Well, just deal with it. Well, yeah. I'd much rather go over this line again so we all get the notes right. Oh, man, seriously, just forget it. Just, just, just do your best. Just do your best. As the hopefuls struggle with their harmonies, the judges have been observing and compiling lists of those that are in and those that are out. We're now letting people go that have really good voices. We, we just sat, sat next to them a minute ago and we just literally, in theory, let eight people go. And they all have really good voices, so we're now being quite ruthless. The girls are also having problems, but after last night, Kim's are self-inflicted. I've got a really sore throat and, like, can hardly talk, but they've given me the low part, which is good, cos I told him when I went in, I told him that I had a bad throat, and so he gave me the low bit, so that was really kind of him. But this is really difficult, and to have to do it with, I mean, it'd be all right if it was just on its own. To have to do it with the dance routine as well is going to be really tough. The groups have had only five hours to learn the new harmony and the dance routine to go with it. For professionals, this process of auditioning would be very difficult. So for these kids, it's a massive challenge. Almost everyone is feeling the strain. I'd like to have a bit more practice so that dance just comes second nature, so I'm kind of think about it, but... Yeah. Definitely. Do I look more confident? Go on yourself. If they ask for 30 people to volunteer and leave, the way I'm feeling right now, I put my hand up and I go, don't even audition me, I'll just go. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do that and sing at the same time. No, I'm not like, I'm not, I can't do it. I can't sing and dance at the same time. This is when we're going to make our final decision. We've got a few ideas, haven't we? And there could be a few juggles now, but we could be, you know, but we're nearly there now. This is the, the definitive time now. Listen up, The big everybody. moment is here. It's time for the final judgment. Can we have group number one, please? First up is Claire's band. Boy, I'm in a day. The voice is terrific. I think the, the look isn't right for the band. I don't think there's any voices better than Claire's, but there's definitely some voices as strong as Claire's. So I, I'm sticking my, my own decision. Singing was OK, dance was a bit dodgy. Well, I've done better in the practice, but I did OK. 
Next up is Taz's group. How you could ever hurt yourself? A bag. Shut up. What Darius. They have barely started when Nikki has a problem. Darius is distracting her by talking at the back of the room. Can we stop? Sorry, guys, can we stop? Darius, please have some respect. I tried to tell you, you weren't even looking over here. OK? Sorry, guys, apologies for that. The way I'm feeling, yeah, you got me feeling really bad. Never, ever have I had to fight. I got to take away to find my own peace of mind. I never, ever have a conscience to fight. Yeah, just don't feel fine. What feeling? You know what I mean? Like, knowing I didn't know that song, blagging my whole way through, and if I mucked up, I smiled and looked and cheeky grin kind of thing, and I felt good at the end of it. I felt like I did my best in my performance-wise. I knew it's the best I did. Disaster strikes for the next group when Sally, the lead vocalist, forgets her words. Conversations, hesitations in my mind. Conversations that I can't find. Sorry. Oh, keep going, go on, keep going. One of the girls help her out. Come on, the rest of you sing. Come on. It's tough for Sally. She's looking for help from other group members, like Miley. Like that just drive, and you, you'd been rehearsing it all day that you'd chip in and at least help her out. Well, Mylene was worried about Mylene's vocal. <laughs> As each group takes the stage, the performances seem to deteriorate. You can on the phone, or even on the phone. As the pressure mounts, so the performances keep getting worse. Questions from out of my mind. I'm frightened that this is so tough. Never ever have I ever felt so low. When you're gonna take me out of this black hole. No one seems to be able to handle the difficult routine under this pressure. It's Peter's final chance to impress the judges. I am amazing. We've got a whole they've learned a whole routine. They've learned all the harmonies and he pouted all the way through it and didn't sing a thing. That went quite well. It could have gone a lot worse. For Darius's group, the pressure is really on. Kim's throat needs to last a few minutes longer, and Darius wants to get the best out of their performance. This is it, you know, we've either got to meld, form, um, flow into this band um, and, and bounce off each other. Oh, we don't. We're just five dysfunctional people singing and mbapping at different times. Uh, so this is it. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes we can be very rubs in my head. The other rubs right from A to Z. Conversations, hesitations in my mind. You got my conscience. Kim's voice seems to be holding up under the judge's scrutiny. I think you've really got to go on performances here more than anything else because I think it's a really tough one. My throat was cracking up now. Every time I could hear my frog in my throat, I got more nervous. And then I missed things on the dance routine. I was like, oh God, they're going to hate it now. We thought we knew it perfectly. As soon as you bring it together, it's completely different. I hope that was good enough. If not, that's it, innit? <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> While the hopefuls wait patiently, the judges have adjourned to the next room. This is the hardest part of the day, finally deciding on who stays and who goes. This is a killer now. This is the worst it's been because there have never been people we've known and there's just been a sea of faces and talent that you can say yes to or no to. This is the hard end of the business. That's the truth of it. This is the hard bit. Laura Edwards. Lizzie G. 27 names are called to go into another room. Nobody knows for sure who's through to the next round. 
very tough. I don't know what to say. Very, very tough. Because, you know, everyone we're going to let go now can sing. There's a few that I like, that we still like, but we obviously will. This is, this, is, this is very tough. Very, very tough. Nigel has been nominated to deliver the news, good or bad. You have to know that our decisions today are based on the last two days. It's not on the last thing that you've done, not on the last audition. And it's been tough. You've all worked really, really hard over the last two days. And I'm really, really happy to say you're all coming to... <laughs> In the next room, tension is high as they wait for news. Um, we're not going to be asking you to come to London. What you do have to know is that you are extremely talented people to be here. Really sorry, guys and gals. It, it, you know, really sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep myself up. I don't care. I've been rejected my whole life. I'll just carry on regardless and do other things. I'm not surprised. I suppose I'm not the kind of image they're looking for either. I mean, and I knew that when I looked around the room and saw everybody. Um, it was so different from me. I think it's a good time to leave because I left on a high and I think it was easier to leave today than go down to London and be one of the last 30 because that was be really heart-rendering. Yeah, I've got to pack yourself back up. Pick yourself up and just say, well, they were wrong. They were wrong. They were wrong. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You've got to say no. Someone has to say no. On this occasion, it's me. Uh, but it's great saying yes too. Uh, and at the end of the day, you would look on the positive side. And um, with London coming up, that's so exciting. Uh, like the kids that we've said no to, we had to pick ourselves up tonight, and, that, that, and we've done that. Um, we're really looking forward to London. Um, yeah, so it doesn't stop here, yeah, we got London. It's hard to believe that in a year's time, there'll be five people in this room who are superstars and uh, rich and famous and whatever. But I know it's not going to be me, but I'm, I'm looking around trying to remember faces, trying to remember names so I can say, oh yeah, there's so and so, there's so and so. The next stage for me is to go back, really get my head together, and consider the possibility now that I'm going to be a pop star and that my life will change forever. <laughs> Pop Stars continues at 6.15 next Saturday. I'm going to tell Mum and Dad the good news. I have no clue. Hey, how are you? How are you going? How are you going? How are you going? How are you going? I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. You know, it's always been there. Always. That's all she's ever wanted to do was sing. I knew she'd be like it. So I absolutely knew she would. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, this is what we've dreamed of for us. Absolutely. Next Saturday on Pop Stars. The last 33 head to London, and everyone can let their hair down. I'm a ladies' man. Go on, man. Go, 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 go. We do not see you in this pop band. Unfortunately, it was a complete tune. I'm afraid we're not going to ask you to come back tomorrow. They were not happy with me, man. But only the best will survive the week. I just feel like I'm losing my friends. It's just like I gave my best. You know I mean? It's not good enough. Of course, band's image is very important to it. I'm very worried that the boys are very, very worried. Oh.